ride and we are leaving Arambol now all packed up and we'll see you in Baga. Baga is only around 25 kilometers from here but the map shows that it's going to take us around one hour. and it's around 8 in the morning and heading towards Mary's residency a homestay with really wonderful host we dropped our luggage and headed out right now we are in old Goa and we have come to visit Warm Jesus Church and on my right we have another church the name of which I'm not sure we will visit that right after this so let's go in and check out the church has beautiful interiors however videography is restricted in certain areas Mortal remains of St. Francis Xavier is still preserved in the church and there is a beautiful art gallery depicting his life. We are going to visit the second church which is called Sea Cathedral. This church was built in 1510 to celebrate Portuguese victory over Goa. of St. Augustine Church which is now a World Heritage Site. The tower right there looks pretty awesome even till date. This compound is ginormous and I'm sure it must have been wonderful during its yesteryear. now at Mum's Kitchen which is quite a famous restaurant here in Miramar, Goa and uh, we have ordered our food which happens to be some steamed rice, a prawn gravy called Zeg Zeg, beef crochet, goan pao and some papad as sides. Slurping here. It smells of fresh coconut oil and this is tiger prawns. Yummy, not unlike what I have eaten so far in my life. It, this is really tasty. Tastes peppery, tangy at the same time, lot of tamarind bursting in my mouth and the coconut smells fabulous. Now for the brief crochet. I'm dipping with some ketchup here mm. 
The beef is perfectly flavored with the spices and the crust is really crispy. You can hear its crunch. across Baga River having our coffee overlooking at the maddening crowd of Baga Beach we wondered what has become of this once pristine beach Good morning this is day 4 of our ride and we are now in Chapora Ford we hiked early to avoid the crowd and the heat the view from here is pretty awe striking. We have Vagator Beach on one side and Chapora on the other. The newly constructed road made this place accessible and with it came a lot of trash. Right now we are having our breakfast at a place called Britos in Baga Beach. I have ordered for myself a full English breakfast my all-time favorite in Goa and uh, some extra toast and coffee so let's attack we are beach hopping now and currently in big Pagator that's what this beach is called I have few friends who have joined us today on this trip. This place is less crowded and I'm sure you will not bump into anyone while swimming. So there is our friend Shipin who is joining us. He has permanently shifted to Goa from Bangalore and I see him after a year with an ice box. <laughs> Watching another beautiful sunset, but this is not the end, my friend. Tomorrow we are heading to Palalim, so watch the film till the end. Good morning, guys. We are now heading to Palalim and stopped here on the highway near Madgao for our breakfast. As usual, we have ordered an authentic Goan breakfast. Year after for this trip, you might not see much of footages of our motorcycle ride. Since yesterday, we lost our GoPro, the camera with which we shoot while riding. We are quite sad about this entire thing. However, we will try to capture as much footages as possible with our other camera. Hey, we just arrived at Palolim and uh, we are staying in this guest house called Aveline, uh, which is next to the beach. You can see it from here. I hope it's visible on the camera. And uh, I just thought, let me take you on a tour of the room that we are staying in. There you have MJ unpacking. There you have a side table. It's a wooden room. You have a cupboard here, which is pretty decent. We're still unpacking, so you'll see a lot of knickknacks in and around. Here's the bed, it's a king size. and the bathroom yesterday lounging at Palolim and there wasn't much footage to cover since we just ate 
drank some beer and had some merry time. We slept well last night and uh, it's about 9 in the morning, pretty late. Huh? But uh, holidays have to be lazy at times. After our breakfast, we are going to go on a boat ride which takes us to three beaches. The beaches are quite secluded and you either have to hike or take a boat. And there you have our boat ready. Butterfly Beach And now we are at a beach called Honeymoon We're just walking towards the other corner of Palolim Beach, which looks much secluded. And there are huge rocks there near the Monkey Island. <laughs> for the last one hour and we are not done yet as usual it's the last day of our goa uh, motorcycle tour like we have been here around 10 times straight in a year i mean to say in 10 years <laughs> <laughs> so what i would like to say is though we had the whole day ahead of us and we could have explored lot more places which we have still not seen in goa but then we decided why not keep something for next time. We love beaches and the ocean life. And the ocean life too. You can hear MJ who is over excited now and just trying to swim I believe in knee deep water. I hope you can see him on the camera which is quite funny. <laughs> at a place called brown bread and health food i highly recommend this place for tea coffee and uh, bakery items i believe their breakfast must be awesome too <laughs> motorcycle tour and if you guys like what we are doing do subscribe because that keeps us motivated to travel and make more videos <laughs> 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 <laughs>